Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Chain Decos. Last time we left off, we were hanging out here in the flower fields, and someone mentioned something very obvious that I should have realized last time. Um, for this challenge, uh, where is it? Um, it's, it's around. Win an encounter with an all-girls team. Um, that's pretty easy, because I can just take all the lads out. Um, so we just gotta find ourselves a battle. And I can take care of that really, really quickly. Alright, let's see if we can pull this off. Um, probably want to use your ultra move. High physical damage to one enemy and raises your agility and crit chance. That looks good to me. I actually probably wanted to attack the owl. But whatever, there we go. We got an agility and crit buff. You just smacked Lin for some okay damage. Uh, okay, so we need to try and murder. Probably gonna have to use some items here. Like, now. Probably want to use a meal, just to make sure I can actually survive this. So, once again, use another water thrust. If I can just kill one of them, this will be so much easier. Um, let's... Oof. If I could paralyze one, too, that would also make my life easy. Er... Blind for one turn. Let's do that. There we go. Wait, you still hit me! Shit. Um... Okay, well, let's, um, once again use the meal. And... Yeah... Damn it. I would like to try an attack with you again, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. This is going to require quite a few items. Okay. Yeah, that blind didn't seem to do much. Um, it, said f it said it always makes them miss physical attacks, I believe. So maybe they're just not doing physical attacks. I mean, it makes sense that the owl wasn't. Um, let's... Let's see... I think Lin will do more damage. So you just kind of focus on healing right now. So, you know, we need to keep Lin alive. As long as I... Let's see, just another water thrust. If the Sportman can just die, my life will be so much easier. That is unfortunate. Um... Let's see, skill... Um, Kasagiri on the Sportman. Okay, and I get another turn. Now we're in overdrive, so our lives will be a little bit easier here. There we go. Huh. Okay. Okay, this is better. This is better. Now we can heal. The owl's gonna get a turn, but it shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Okay. Okay, now now we can now we can work through this. Beautiful. I can steal from you, but I'm not gonna bother. Let's uh ooh, X Slash would take me out of uh What's it called? You just heal again, actually. Throw some snacks on Lin. There we go. Okay, and you... Just do the best damage you possibly can. Alright, yeah, I think we've got things under control now. This could potentially be problematic. You just killed Lin with that wind trap thing. And if you just keep killing Lin, then we're not gonna have a very good time here. Maybe we should see if I can... Maybe I should see if I can paralyze you. This stupid owl, man, I swear. If it uses the fire attack, if it would just not attack Lin. Oh my god. No, I think we're boned. Um, my best bet is just healing up Lin with the meals. And we're just gonna try and win like this. Because Lin does more damage anyway. I would just get caught in a revival trap if I just tried doing the other thing. Oh, now we're out of. Damn it. Uh, okay, heal again. And we might have to finish you off with just basic attacks. God, this is taking so much of my shit. I'm not using these meals for anything else, so it's not the biggest deal in the world, but... God, they probably wanted me to have another party member before this. Oh, <sighs> we did it. We did it. That was scary, but we did it. Um, an encounter with an all-girls team. Yay, now our longest chain is 52. Only four more for the Grimoire Shard. 
The hardest part about that was actually staying in overdrive because we... We don't get as many actions, so it's just way harder to actually, uh, stay. Probably a better way to do that, including waiting till we get another character, because I'm sure we get, um... What was it, Amalia? I'm sure we get Amalia at some point, so... Um, Sienna, you go back over here. Killian, and Victor. There we go, we're back. So, yeah, I had to use a lot of items there, but it really wasn't too bad. We pulled it off, and that's what matters. And now I just need a few more links, and I can get another Grimoire. Another Grimoire shard. Phew. Spooky. Okay, wow, these look exactly the same. Where could they possibly be pointing? I guess over here. Like right here? Somewhere? No? Because there's one right there. There's one right there. So if it's pointing down there and down there. Hmm. Yeah, it would be like right around here, basically. But I'm not seeing anything. Yeah. Oh well. Alrighty, so... Let's just, um, go up, I guess, then. So where would that other one be pointing from here? I mean, this one's pointing right here. It's not these mushrooms, it's not this one. Doom resistance, light resistance, thank you. Okay. Nothing really going on there. Is that an entrance into these trees? No. Okay, so it must be the one that points this way. Uh-oh. Game, you good? Come on, Chain Decos, you can do it. Glenn? Not feeling too well. Misora. It's that beast again. There it is. She looks like an angel. A trap most sweet. Be gone, demon. You have no place in the world of men. Oh, God. Whoa. This is showing its true form, huh? This monster seems to feed on travelers by lulling their senses first. The lullaby is for us today, my dear. Everyone get ready. It doesn't look like it wants to leave this time. Alright, let's go. Poison wind. Ooh, that's not good. Killian resisted it. We're only poisoned for two turns, at least. Um... So, I think I'm gonna armor break you. Ooh, but what do I want to attack? Do I want to attack the puppet or the puppeteer? Because we can choose... I mean, I imagine I want to attack the puppeteer, right? Let's armor break you. Blinding light. Interesting. Um, so you are weak to light. Um... That's interesting to note. So, let's attack you. Like I said, I'm just gonna focus on this thing. So, you can light Claymore, that'll attack both of them. Uh, actually, I wanted to use your Ultra move, Damn it, I forgot about that. Um... Helping Hand, we don't need to do that quite yet. Dark? Okay, now we're gonna need to do it. Uh... Well, Lin can go down, it's fine. I wanna do that big damage. Twisting wind. What is going on? I feel so dizzy all of a sudden, but why? Uh-oh. Okay, and Lin's, Lin's down. Uh, let's get Lin back up. Oh, you messed with my meter. Oh god, that's weird. This will get us back into overdrive at least. That is big damage. Okay, we're back into overdrive. We're poisoned again. Oh, most of us resisted it, though. Um, okay, I can't use a buff or anything, so that's not gonna work. Uh, cross slash the puppeteer. Big damage. Ow. Okay, we definitely need a victor in here. We definitely, definitely need a victor. 
Um, Awakened Spirit on Lynn. Let's just go ahead and get you up. And let's drop a snack on Lynn as well. I need to use a buff to get into stuff, but mostly right now I just need to heal. Okay, uh, snack yourself, Glenn. Yo, you just healed. Okay, only 82, though. That's not a ton that the puppet just healed. I do wonder how much HP the puppet would have had. It's a puppet, so it made me think, like, oh, I shouldn't be focusing on that. I should just focus on the source. Um, but let's go ahead and swap off of you so I can steal at least. Uh, so let's go ahead and get some gold nuggets here. Um, I'm gonna heal all, other than Mazurka. There we go. Okay, now, light sword. I could just hit the puppeteer with that to do more damage. Like, focusing on the puppeteer instead of the puppet seems like it would make so much sense. Although the puppet does have some annoying attacks. Um, snack yourself, Glenn. Blinding light, there it is. That does a lot of damage. Okay, pilfer from the puppets. <gasps> Two shaman's robes. Interesting, interesting. Um, I have two weapons summoned. I could do big damage to all. Mm. Sure. There we go. The puppeteer is dead. Okay, so I thought killing the puppeteer would just kill the puppet as well, but uh, apparently not. Okay, good to know. We gotta fight. We gotta fight you too. Okay. Really not what I expected. But at least you're not that bad. Um, I've already stolen from you, so... We can actually... S let's not switch back to Lin, actually. Um, let's X-Slash. Because that'll help us with our, uh, with our meter here. Um, Bothraz, I used your stuff. Let's go ahead and hit with the Light Sword. Cross Slash. And you can... This thing doesn't have any buffs right now. Let's just Blade Reflection it. Okay, and... Ooh, Victor is out of TP. Yeah, we're almost all out of TP. Um... I can heal... Glenn. There's the Blinding Light. Damn it, that attack is strong when we're in overheat. Okay, uh, I'm getting really, really beat up here. Ooh. Let's swap off of you. Lin has more HP. Okay, this would at least get me back into... Yeah. Let's do that. And then... You're just gonna blinding light, so it's gonna be very, very hard to heal people. This is getting rough. Oh, you healed yourself. Oh my god, thank you. So, that means I can Angel Wing Killian. And we can Snack Killian. There you go. Oh, it finally stopped using the stupid blinding light thing. Okay, yeah, maybe killing the puppet first would have been the better call. When I, when I would think about, like, oh, there's a puppet and a puppeteer, I think you'd kill the puppeteer and then the puppet would just stop working. <laughs> Uh, maybe restrain with you to get us back into... You have my best potential to do big damage, though. Lin can get us back into overdrive. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Now, Killian... We can swap to Victor. Victor doesn't have a ton of TP though, but we can restore TP and grant HP and TP regen for all party members. There we go. Because we need our TP back. There we go. Alright, that's a lot, a lot better. Um, I could clip, but that would take us out. Um, let's see. Just snack yourself. Oh, that stupid AoE attack you do. Okay, fine. Okay, wow, you just paralyzed me. That's 
actually totally fine. I wish you had been doing that earlier <laughs> instead of spamming the stupid blinding light all the time. That thing hurt. Especially since you messed up my overdrive meter so I can never be in overdrive. Oh god. Um, let's stay in overdrive. Blinding light. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Um, heal all. We are in overheat. Um, let's water thrust to get us back into the good. There we go. Whew. Okay, scary fight. Oh my god. This place is crazy. Come, let's go on. I don't want to see another demon appear. Everything because of the Grand Grimoire. God, that thing did... I really thought when I killed the puppeteer that the puppet would just die. I really, really thought so. Or, like, if I killed the puppet, the puppeteer would just summon another puppet. So, I don't know if that was the right way to go about that or not, but god, it was really hard with that thing slapping the shit out of me constantly. <sighs> okay. Okay, well, we did it. We did it. So, let's learn some new skills. Raise chance to be attacked by enemy. Raise attack and magic by 15%, lowers defense and mind by 15%. Uh, poison resistance. That would have been nice to have in that fight. I think I just want more HP though. <laughs> more HP. Yeah, just give me more HP on Glenn. Honestly, more HP on everybody would be nice. Um... SOS attack up, TP gain, blind resistance, silence resistance, agility, checkpoints. Yeah, on you, also I probably just want defense. I just want to make everyone a little bit tankier. Restore 50 TP. Lowers targets defense and mind. 5% chance to execute a skill without paying TP cost. That's kind of nice, but I think I want the extra HP. Once again, I just want everyone to be able to survive easier. Heavy strike, third eye, ultra move up, health. Uh, you... Defense. Victor. Counter mind up, HP. Probably just want the defense on you. I have two other mages for magic. You're mostly just a healer. Um, attack up, 10%, or more agility. I would like you to have higher agility, because the main benefit of Sienna, I feel, is just how many turns she can get. Hmm. Sure, take the agility. There we go. I do like characters that are very, very fast, so... <sighs> Okay. We lived. Bothraz, you can't really get anything. So Ooh, you can get magic up. God, having two magic ups on you is going to be nuts. Stacked together like that. That's going to be so powerful. Uh, okay. And Killian, nothing. Lin, nothing. You can get wind resistance. I'm saving up for ultra move up, though. Counter Cure, Be Shot, Throat Cut, Herbal Medicine. This makes the poison last longer, let's get that. Uh, Victor... I want the next level of Shielding Berserka. Okay. Yeah, Blade Reflection, what was... so... let's see here. Flicks Blind, and yeah, Blind's supposed to make them miss, guarantee. Guaranteed, but... I don't know, maybe I was doing something wrong there. Maybe the attacks weren't... It seemed like they were just doing basic attacks, but maybe they were considered magic attacks or something like that instead of physical. I I don't know. Where's this buried treasure at here? These things are... tripping me up. Because they're a bit of a weird setup. Because they're both... They both look exactly the same, basically. Some gems to get up there. I'm basically just walking around hammering A. See if I can just find it that way. Greatsword Master, SOS Defense up. Okay, from to get up there, we have to come back down. Okay, so where is this stupid buried treasure at? 
Oh wow, I walked right past this earlier. I'm just kind of blending in there. Hello. That is an undead killer gym. There it is. Cool. So it was the left one on that, on this one, and the uh, one pointing north here to put to put me right there. Yeah, I was uh, I was looking at that incorrectly. Um, I was looking at the top one lining up with the top one, but there was no way they could line up. I just I don't know. I don't know why that keeps getting in my head that um. I have to line up the ones on on the each side instead of I can line up any ones that I want. But all right, I guess I'm thinking of it like, um, you know, like I'm trying to find the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm trying to find the point that I I keep thinking of like there's three of them I suppose because there's other games that I've played where it does the same sort of thing except there's there's three different things and they all point towards a single point like they're triangulating it so. I think my mind keeps defaulting to that, and it's screwing me up. I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Point is, I'm being a dummy. Okay, so... Let's see, we've done that. I found that secret door. Um, have we found all the ones here? Explore most of the area. I got one more hidden treasure. Stone tablets to find. There's not a, uh, class mark here. Unfortunately. Okay. And so we've been down there. I got that stuff. Alright, so we should just be good to move forward now. Alrighty. Now we're in a forest. And I can loop around over here. Yes, yes, yes. So we didn't actually end up fighting a giant spider. Here I was thinking it was going to be a giant spider. But I guess it's not just a spider that would lay, like, weird egg sacks like this. Attack up and blind hit. And you. Chainmail! Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, that'll be on one of you. Probably Victor. Probably Victor. I just like having the extra defense on Victor. Yeah. There you go, Victor. Enjoy your chainmail. Um, there was also a treasure chest over there that I, uh... I don't know how to get to it. Um... Is this the right one? Yeah, this is the right one. So, there's a treasure chest, like, right over here. It's one of those, uh, Sky Armor treasure chests, but I don't see a good way to get to it. Like... I don't see a point where I can drop down. I couldn't get across there. Hmm. Yeah. I don't see a good way to get to it. There's no like drop down point. I don't think I can like go in the water or anything. It's there though, and we know about it. It would make sense to me if we like needed the sky armor before I could pick up a lot of those things. But I'm not sure if that's the case. All right, let's move forward. We've dilly-dallied enough. All right, up here. This just seems like we'll be- oh wow, four things. This just seems like we'll be getting out of here soon, considering uh, we just fought the boss. So I would assume that was the case. So that thing actually put up a barrier to trap its prey in that area so it could eat them. That's interesting find out that a creature has evolved to do that. Wondering if I could get up there. It doesn't look like it. This place seems safe. Let's take a rest before continuing. Oh, I can feel it. I feel it slowly pulling up my body. I do not know how much longer I can travel with you. A kingdom for a cure to this rising sobriety. Does he always act like this? He's supposed to be one of our leading scientists. <laughs> Kingdom for a cure to this rising sobriety, my god. He's quite a headstrong, but truth to be told, I also long for a glass of Arcadian wine. Please tell, Sir Victor. You trust us enough to reveal the secrets behind the grimoire, yet not enough to reveal why you do that. Oh, believe me. I trust you enough to share every secret I carry. It's just that I can't tell you. I made a promise. Sir Victor is not the only one with secrets, is he? What do you mean? You survived the Wernshire disaster, did you not? But how? You were there? Yes. 
Sir Cameron mentioned that only the user in the immediate vicinity is spared. Tell them. You know about this, Lynn? Fine. I'll tell you about it. Explained what happened. They didn't know. They didn't know what they were doing. And therefore, I have even more reason to destroy this weapon. You... You... You lousy piece of shit. Calm down, Rob. Calm down, he's a mass murderer. He killed- he's killed hundreds of Taran soldiers. I- I'm sorry. Save your words. Rob, leave him be. He- he'd said it was an accident. I understand Rob's anger, but... He did say it was an accident. Prince, surely you don't mean to forgive him. Nothing to forgive because he is not the one to blame. The Grand Grimoire was there for a reason. It was there because... Because of my lord brother. Princess may forgive you, but I do not. Mantle yourself and your convenient lies for all I care. Why did we take him with us? Is it still too- is it still far to the monastery? A bit. It is located on an island just off the coast. Due to the regular earthquakes on Valanda, strong whirlpools have formed around the island and blocked any access above water. Then we should have taken an airship. Well, surely this territory is free of air stones. The only way to reach the monastery is through an old escape tunnel. It takes us under the seabed over to the island. Under the seabed? It sounds a bit scarier than this place here. I mean, it sounds cool, but also thalassophobia. L let's move on, then. You're here to find out more about the grimoire, are you? Alright, mystery is waiting to be lifted. General Godfrey, you were the first to enjoy this new power. What does it feel like? Your Highness, I feel as if I was in a dream. My head is slightly befogged, but boiling blood is running through my body. Every move, every breath, I perceive it consciously. Glad to hear that. Think of it as a gift that you should use in Tarn's favor. Your Highness. A messenger has brought us news from the Emerald Sea. Prince Dec Dreklar has taken the capital. His last brother has been executed. The war is over and Nebrelia has a new king. So it is only a matter of time until they turn their gaze towards Volandis. It will happen sooner rather than later. That makes it all the more important to end our war quickly. Only a united Volandis stands a chance against the enemies beyond. It is, like, shocking just how similar the story is here to the one happening in Tactics Ogre, because it's also about an island nation at war with each other because they're split up into a few different factions, but they they realize they all need to come together to stop the invaders from outside coming in and just stomping them as they're separated. Sir Gawain. My prince. Take General Godfrey with you and instruct him. As you command, follow me, General. Wow, look at this umbrella facility. Listen to me carefully. The fleets of Tauren and Ascania will collide in the sky above Roland Fields. Only airship- our airships may outnumber them, but we still want to keep our casualties as low as possible. Especially considering that a fight with Nabrelia might follow. You can count on me, Sir Gawain. Are you getting some kind of special sky armor? Newly acquired power will cut a path through enemy lines and pave the way for our main weapon. The Grand Grimoire? Exactly. Listen well, General. When the Grimoire is shattered, it gives off a tremendous explosion that devours all life in a radius of thousands of meters. Such a weapon must not be used on our own lines. For opening the way through the enemy's vanguard with your new powers, you will board the Sky Armor and bring the Grimoire behind enemy lines. There you will smash it. I- I'm supposed to carry the Grand Grimoire? Isn't there anyone else that could do this? I was told you are one of Taran's better pilots. But th that's true, but... Oh, I see you're worried the explosion would kill you too. No, calm your fears. The weapon that kills its user is pointless. The Grimoire spares everything within a radius of three meters. Nothing will happen to you, General, nor to your sky armor. I... is that so? <laughs> of course, I'm, I'm not so afraid of death. But can't we just hurl the stone into the enemy's airships? I fear to miss the target, the stone would land somewhere on Earth and destroy an entire region. And to throw the stone at such a distance, we would need a cannon. If the stone was to break in its own cannon's barrel, it would be our army that would be destroyed, not the enemy's. I understand. Leave it to me, then. An easy task for a man of my caliber. Expected nothing less. 
Now I feel like I want to give you a Zap Brannigan voice. Kiff. Tell the crew I've mated with a woman. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? These colors, it looks so magnificent. Yeah, magnificent glow for a tool so foul. I hate it. There we go. Alright, so I think we're probably going to go ahead and end this episode off here. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.